Bad Dad. Presented by Stella Frog. Come on now. Time to get up. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Go away. I want to be left alone. Nonsense. The sun is shining, time is ticking, and the human world is out and about, moving and shaking, whatever it is they are apt to move and shake. I just want to sit here in the dark, not knowing what time it is or even what day or even caring. Sadie, you can't continue to do this. I am your best friend, so I am going to be brutally honest with you here. He wasn't worth it. He was worth maybe a few tears and one good nose blow on one flimsy little tissue to be immediately discarded, but that's about it. He he certainly was not worth five days in your bed with all this shade drawn so as not to let in the light of day while subsisting on nothing but booze and Ben and Jerry's. He was worth it. Why? What? What makes you think he was worth... This, this wretched, pathetic ball of unwashed hair, skin, and clothes that you've become. Seriously, dude, you gotta go grab a shower or something. Because, because... Because why? Because I am 41 years old. Okay, you are 41. What's that got to do with it? It's over. Finished. Don't you see? He was my shot. Your shot? At Happy Ever After. At the kids and the four-bedroom colonial and the minivan with that bumper sticker of all the happy little stick figure family members. Mom, dad, daughter, son, even a fucking little dog. Stick figure family members? Seriously? That's just the Kool-Aid talking. The what? The Kool-Aid everyone is trying to get you to drink. Your mother, your aunts, your older sister. The lady at the gym who keeps pushing that family membership promo on us. Uh, self-righteous bitch. The world is made for happily ever after, and heaven forbid your conception of happily ever after differs from that Stepford-like stick figure family. Well, then you're designated a freak who belongs in a sideshow. Sad Sadie, the loneliest woman on the planet. Come on, come all. This is not helping. I'm not trying to help. Oh, well, great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm trying to kick your ass a little here. Uh, So he left you. So what? Good riddance to bad rubbish, as they say. No. (laughs) Why exactly, again, did he end things? Because of a prostate exam. Oh, what now? Oh, I gotta hear this. He went for a prostate exam, right? And apparently the doctor made some joke about putting that thing to use and pumping out some kids while he was still in his prime. (laughs) A doctor seriously said that? It was meant to be like a joke or something. Anyway, he started to get all panicked. And he came over that night and we were like watching TV and having some pizza. And all of a sudden he just says, I need to be a father. So what did you say? Well, first I choked on a piece of pepperoni. Then after he heimlicked me, I said... So does this mean you want to... But he cut me off right away. And he says, no, not with you. Not with me what, I say. And he's like, I don't want to have kids with you. He did not say that. Oh, he most certainly did. And so I say, well, then who do you want to have kids with? And do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? He said in this totally matter-of-fact voice, like it was the most normal thing to come out of his mouth, he says, Jennifer Cipriano. And I say, Jennifer Cipriano, who the fuck is she? (laughs) Well, of course. Right? So he tells me, a woman I dated four years ago, she was the one. So I'm like the fuck are you talking about? He says, she is the one I was supposed to be with, you know, like the person I'm supposed to marry and start a family with. And by this point, my jaw is on the floor. I can only imagine. Jennifer Cipriano. So where is she now? I say, I don't know. He says quietly. I think she lives in Walla Walla. Where? I say, you know, Walla Walla, Washington. Is that even a place? I say. And he says, yeah, I saw her on Facebook. So that's when he goes into the whole prostate doctor thing, and I'm, like, flabbergasted. I mean, how could he... We've been together for two and a half years. Two and a half years. I thought we were heading towards marriage and the kids and all the other crap. Rightfully so. So, you see, that's why I'm here on this couch, making love to some chocolate chip cookie dough. At least it won't abandon me. 
At least it won't cyberstalk Jennifer Cipriano and then run off to some godforsaken place in the Pacific Northwest to go sire offspring before it gets to be too late. I am so sorry. I hope they... I hope they have a gender reveal party and the cannon or whatever malfunctions and sprays him directly in the face with a whole bunch of pink confetti and then he gets all mad because he was hoping for blue confetti and the video of him looking miserable covered in pink confetti goes viral so people are now sharing the clip like crazy, titling it, Bad Dad, No Daughters Allowed, and he becomes the most hated guy in America. <laughs> oh, uh, well, yeah, that that's one way of getting revenge, I suppose. Are you starting to feel better? You look a little better. The menacing red glow of vengeance becomes you. Okay, let's go. Terrific. Where are we going? To buy a bumper sticker of a giant monster truck heading directly for one of those stupid-ass stick figure families, and it says, Run, you stick bastards, run. Now that's the spirit. But definitely shower first. Uh-huh. 